Hi beautiful Pisces, this is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage. I am clairvoyant for those of you that are new to the channel. I use the beautiful Celtic Wisdom Tarot deck developed by Caitlin Matthews. I have been uh, urged by spirit. I started my YouTube channel in January for those of you who don't know and uh, I am utilizing the cards as directed by spirit in order to help channel messages uh, from the other side is the best way <laughs> I can describe it and you'll hear me use a lot of words in reference to that. There are a couple of housekeeping items. Um, I do want everyone to know that I am beginning some uh, live stream webcasting. I'm having some technical difficulties and I'm also realizing you know with all the planets in retrograde and the energy of the eclipses, etc. I'm going to actually hold off a little bit and I will hope to start that as soon as the energy settles down. I think right now, having gone through the eclipses, we're really just all, you know, two things <clears throat> Spirit is saying. There's some channeled information coming through already. Um, one is, you know, we're riding that wave. Wasn't that amazing? And actually, it's the day after the eclipse. It's the 22nd. Spirit has been pushing me to do your reading and um, I just was, I had a lovely eclipse day. Magic happened here for me. I'm very grateful for that. And for all the folks uh, who communicated with me leading into and going through the eclipse, thank you. The, the love that was felt here was amazing. And um, yeah, I won't go into it, but some beautiful, beautiful things happened here spontaneously that I didn't expect. So I hope that was true for all of you. So, <laughs> regarding the uh, live stream, I've, my computer is dying, and I'm not sure it's even going to make it through all of the uh, videos for September. So I'm asking for assistance and donations, and my suggestion is... Um, to sign up for the live stream, which may not be on YouTube, uh, you know, as I've been trying to to do some testing, etc., it became clear that even though my computer is is dying, that even if I wanted to use it, it's just too old. It's over ten years old, and it's time. So I'm asking for your help if you enjoy the channel and you'd like to make a small donation of thirty-five dollars or more. I will add your name to the annual subscription for the webcasting when that starts. The subscription will start on the date of the first webcast. I have some thoughts about that. I don't know what will be possible. I'm crossing my fingers that maybe we can do that uh, while I'm on my pilgrimage in Ireland, which starts on the 15th. So that's the last little housekeeping message. If you are there or in that region and you want to come and get a personal reading from me, please email me right away. <laughs> the bookings are filling up. I have a limited number of spots and um, I'm hoping by the end of the first week of September for those spots to be filled so I can make the schedule and let people know where I'll be doing the readings, etc. So thanks for listening to that uh, and for any donations that have already come in. Some have come in. I appreciate that very greatly and um, asking for your support if possible. So Pisces, let's, let's jump into the reading. Last month, if you haven't seen it, having gone through the eclipse, I always urge people to at least go back one month and look at the videos. These videos, this channel has been an unfolding story about your soul journey as a spirit being in a human form walking across this earth having your experiences and last month this was the outcome card and spirit would like me to just review a little bit last month uh, and now I actually I understand it a little deeper uh, so spirit saying yes please go open your computer look at last month's cards just scroll to the end of the reading and you know, freeze the screen, Spirit saying, and just look at the cards, if you can, while you're listening to this. <laughs> if not, just check it out. So, 
last month there was a shamanistic journey carrying you deep across in order to bring harmony into the center point of your strategy with which you do life. There was a story that unfolded that had to do with your awareness of the travel of all the souls that are here. You were feeling that energy in some way. And it was helping you discover this beautiful internal set point that sends you on your quest as a Pisces through your lifetime is what Spirit is telling me. And really feeling you were, um, you know, the quest of art was here. This was the quest of battle and this was the revelation of battle. So, you know, the center of your being was, was resting in this place where Spirit's saying you reside in this magical place with this bountiful, beautiful energy of love and abundance and a commitment, the Spirit is saying, that you have in your heart. And you were feeling yourself right in the middle of these struggles that humanity has. And here, the bridge card, going across to your spiritual experience during the month of August, was an augury. And clearly, it was about the eclipse at the new moon, bringing you deeper into your journey. And so, for you, uh, last month, it really was about preparing for and going through the eclipse in order to come to this place. And so to find this on the top of your reading this month is incredibly beautiful. And I love the way that Spirit speaks uh, through these readings, through these cards, and to you. But Spirit, what's coming through is very personally to you. Spirit wants to utilize me to make sure you get the message that are messages that are meant for Pisces, uh, all those folks who resonate with this channel. So let's look at this. For those of you who might be new, that's the foundation of battle. It's a beautiful card. It's about sacred warriorship. And in this card, it's depicted with male energy, meaning the impulse and the impetus and the energy to go forward, the strength and the willingness, and their spirit standing in the background, standing with you, supporting you in the background, watching your progress, and being your guide, Spirit is saying. So the foundation of battle is about you know, you can see this person is somewhat youthful, clearly a mature person, having come through a lot, holding their personal power in their hand. That's what the spear indicates. And becoming ready, just ready. Now, because of this foundation, the battles you've been through that were, view were reviewed last month, pardon me, holding your personal power and what's coming through, Spirit saying, is your intention in your hand. Your aim is true. Your aim is now true. Those are, that's the phrase that's coming through. This is about having come through a rite of passage and Spirit is saying, becoming ready. This six, the numeral six, indicates having your training Sorry, there's a lot of chatter coming into my head. Okay, so your training has progressed uh, past the midpoint. That's why this is a foundation card. And this is talking again about the things you had to do to learn and grow as an initiate into the clan of the spiritual warrior. To become ready to step forward and allow your personal energy and your intentions and your actions go forward into the world. And again, Spirit is saying, your aim is true. You have the foundation you need. There will be more growth to come. And as the spirits are uh, saying to me, remember you are accompanied. You may always ask for assistance and listen carefully because the answers will come. 
because these portals have opened a new way of being. And Spirit wants you to spend some time every single day, several times a day, even if it's three minutes or five minutes. Just take a breath. And remember to keep your heart chakra open and send those intentions out into the world. So I'm going to go forward. There's just an enormous amount of information coming through, and I'd like to illustrate it with the cards. If, if possible, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and look. So <laughs> that's beautiful. This card, I'm just going to show you the whole card. Look at that. Look how beautiful. So female energy, balancing the male energy. This is also about thoughts and intentions, going a little deep, ha taking some time to think about where you've been. It's interesting, what Spirit's telling me is this is what supports the foundation of battle, is the judgment of skill. Thinking about the skills you've developed, and look, this, I mean, if there ever was there a place for Pisces, that's it. Look at that. Beautiful. Thinking about humanity is what Spirit is, is giving to me. The, okay, so the phrase I'm getting, one of the phrases that, uh, coming through is the pluses and minuses. The benefits and the trials, Spirit is saying. The things that humanity has experienced. You know, there are a lot of planets in retrograde. I kind of wanted to wait to do the readings until all that was over, but... Spirit's pushing me. <laughs> so, uh, you've been on my mind. And it's kind of felt like this, interestingly enough. I've just been walking through the last couple days with the Pisces energy riding around in the sky above me. That's how it felt. And I was very well aware of it and really uh, sitting with it for some time as the eclipse came on. And actually, you know what? I sat in the meadow in front of my house. This is what it was like. And, okay, Spirit's telling me to tell the story for some reason. So, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm busy like all of you. I have lots of things going on. And personal readings and getting these uh, videos done, etc., etc., etc. On the day of the eclipse, I invited my daughter to come and spend the day with me. And she took the day off from work, and she came over, and we were making a view box. And, you know, suddenly she said, I, I was thinking, could we invite Dad? And, you know, my, uh, I'm divorced, I have an ex-husband, as many of you do. And I, was, and I thought, you know, honey, you're reading my mind, because this is kind of what was going on. I was reviewing the past and getting ready to let it go, to prepare myself actually, <laughs> maybe I was in a Pisces state of mind, to prepare myself for this, to reach the next place of my development and my foundation, because I do have intentions about my life going forward, so that's interesting. Um, so, Dad showed up, and it was really lovely, and along with him came a friend, somebody who helped build this magical porter, call, por, portal, pardon me, uh, called Moonrise Cottage. And the four of us, it, it was just a stunningly beautiful moment. For about three hours, we just sat in the meadow, staring up at the house, watching the eclipse, watching the light change, thinking about the past, and really, literally rejoicing in the fact that we were together by magic in these moments that was unplanned and you know all the cares and the and the worries and the trials and tribulations of the past literally melted away in those moments and we were just sitting in a place of extreme joy and there is uh, the message <laughs> from all that chatter is that spirit going forward in through to the month of September after the eclipse. Spirit would like you to be in this place, to be in that state of being. Continue to review, 
Continue to open your heart chakra. Feel joy every day. And allow the magic of that to fill the space around your heart, around your body, around the place you live, in concentric circles, if you will. Starting from your set point, inside of you, and moving further and further out in order to uh, be able to receive and radiate that which came through the portal of the eclipse. It's really beautiful. Okay, so, and look. Yeah, okay, so, going forward in your human walk, that's what all that chatter was about. There it is. This is how you stand. And and who stands with you in your walk? Spirit wants me to hold this up. So this, you know, there's a lot of chatter coming through. It's all about the eclipse. And in fact, I might just publish this really early, um, just so you have it. And, the, uh, you know, I'm working as hard as I can to get the readings done and out. It always drives people a little crazy when I publish one or two videos and then they're waiting for the rest, so be patient. They're coming. So, you know, look, male, female, visionary energy, standing on a foundation. Spirit wants me to show it this way. It's actually, it's like this, okay? Here's the new foundation. Let me see if I can scroll in on that. There's the new foundation. Upon which you stand in this way, with your visionary capacity on high, spirit says, highly activated, balanced with male and female ed energy, both of them having sacred vision. Spirit wants you to hold that. Continue to do your review. We are Mercury is uh, still in retrograde. There are planets that are in retrograde. There's a reason for that. Utilize it to your advantage. And keep your heart chakra wide open. There is information that is continuing to come through. Okay, so let's go forward. Oops, I put this in the wrong spot. Okay. Look. Yep. <laughs> and that's why. Okay. Dialogue of battle. It's interesting. We have the foundation of battle and some images of battle in the judgment of skill card. And the king of art, a sacred warrior. And look. Okay. So, yes, you are standing in a new place. There is a new dialogue that is going to begin. As the retrogrades and the energy of the eclipse carries you through this next month of September, this will be your task, Spirit is telling me. And I believe, Pisces, you've seen this card before. We are now able to be in touch with the spirit realm because of what happened at this uh, portal opening through this set of eclipses. And I'm going to leave it up to you to look at your favorite astrologer to understand this in those terms. It's important for you to look, spirit says. But spirit wants to give you this visual imagery through these beautiful cards so that you can feel it in your heart. You are really soaring and you know again spirits talking about the foundation Spirit says understand how each card that comes out rests on this this new foundation and you know the foundation of battle and this is the dialogue of battle clearly in direct communication with the divine inside your heart chakra and feeling joy, and that is the place that Spirit would like us to have as our set point. Continue to allow yourself to feel joy, even if it's in little tiny moments. We are human. We are still going to have difficulties and challenges. You know, that's why he's, in a sense, he's climbing up a hill. It does take some effort. But remember, you have a new foundation. And there's a new set point of dialogue about the battles of humanity that carries us forward from the eclipse. Let's see, look, that's exactly what I was just talking about. All right, so this is the revelation of skill. 
Spirit wants me to hold these up together. Actually, all of them. Uh, you've seen me do this if you've been to the channel. <laughs> Sometimes Spirit says, play the movie. Okay, so here's the movie. Right? Again, the foundation of battle, which was on top of the reading. And here you are, Spirit saying, having the, the eclipse, the day of the eclipse. This is you on the day of the eclipse. Heart chakra activated. Look, look. It's giving me literally a shiver. There's the raven. Your vision able to go across in the eclipse. Holding your personal power and your, your spiritual intention. Again, I, I assume everyone knows, but every once in a while I just say it. It's not about violence. I'm not advocating or suggesting it. I'm suggesting and advocating the opposite. It's about working from here. And if you haven't seen the video I did about the eclipse, please go watch that, Spirit says, in this moment. All right? There you are, the king of art. He is a warrior. He's a spiritual warrior. And his warriorship is resting on this foundation. It's about the artful way you utilize your being and your vision. And you know what's interesting? Uh, the word that's coming through is exalted, which means a, an intense ability a change, Spirit says, through the eclipse. Clearly, being able to, to touch the divine. That's what this card is about in this reading, Spirit says. And just to be really clear, there it is. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Having reached this set point because of your new foundation, a very strong ability about the art of using yourself and your being as a force in this world for change and love and abundance. We're in a, you're in a new place, new dialogue starting now because we've come through the eclipse. And look, it's about obstacles. It's about how do we attend to the things that oppose us, Spirit says. There's the river of life. This young lady is made of flowers. She's a magical girl. She was betrothed to someone she didn't want. She had the power within her to change the situation, but instead of using the power within her, she chose to do something uh, with deceit. It's a story about violence, unnecessary violence, in which she uh, caused the death of the person that she didn't want to be joined with. And... Spirit says, take that, that I just said, take that phrase at its widest possible meaning. <clears throat> and I've been talking about this a lot, you guys know. It's time to stop. It's time to utilize the power within us to overcome the obstacles that arise. And the obstacles are sacred opportunity to envelop them with love and with our greatest intentions and cause them to be resolved in a way that might seem that a miracle had happened. That is why this is a new set point, a number two card. We're coming to a new place. Spirit says start practicing now with the obstacles that are in front of us in our own lives and as our intentions go forward for the world we live in. Look, this is the bridge card that takes us across to our spirit journey. But <laughs> Spirit saying, that which is between heaven and earth through the month of September, and actually through the end of the year is what's coming through, that is the queen of knowledge. She is supremely activated. Do you see all the blue in this card? This is about deep in the mystical realm. This is, she sits suspended and spirit says, this is where you are. Your heart, your intentions, your desires sit suspended out in the universe because of what you've become able to know and what she is doing 
is weaving the tapestry of our thoughts and our love and our intention and creating something from the vibration that we send forward, the threads of the vibration of our intention, Spirit says. And you know, it's interesting because I've talked a lot through this channel about yin and yang and the blending of male and female energy. And that's where we started, you know, this impetus, this will, this development, this impulse to go forward. That's what this is about. And, I, you know, in the most uh, deeply philosophical way, impulse, generation, genesis, vision, etc. And yet, that goes nowhere without the female energy, whose job it is to take up the impulse, the intention, the energy, and create life with it. And they must join together inside of ourselves and all across the planet. This is evolving, Spirit says. Be well aware of it. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what's here. Ah. Okay, so if you haven't seen the eight minute video that I did that just showed the cards of the readings that were happening here um, leading into and through the eclipses, this, please go watch it, Spirit says. This woman showed up on the very top of almost every single reading. It was really astounding to me and uh, really causing a lot of information to go th come through me on my emotions. So, <laughs> Spirit says, that's what I was just talking about with the yin and yang stuff. That's how it looks in the spirit realm. That's the sacred mother. This is the high priestess. Spirit says, just meditate upon that, you'll understand. The high priestess, in fact, is the guardian of the gateway. That's a major arcana card. It's quite beautiful. It's the first card on the spirit journey that you're going to experience this month. And Spirit says, look, okay, those are the intentions. The work that you're going to be doing Coming across this, this is the bridge. The bridge is the weaver, the queen of knowledge, the weaver of the tapestry. And there's the guardian of the gateway. Welcoming your new truth. The full name of this card is the guardian of truth. And it is, as I was saying, the female energy that awaits you and the Sacred Mother giving life to that which you can imagine. That's what's coming through. You know, the month of September, I think, having come through these eclipses and the retrogrades passing off, all the things that are going to be happening, it's going to be another really intense, beautifully and highly spiritually activated month, according to Spirit. And maybe that's why you know, because Pisces, you're so deep. Your your vibration is just... <laughs> Spirit's telling me, pointing to this. You know, she's weaving. It also looks like a harp, right? It's it's a dual message about your vibration. And look at this. Look, look at these, just these three cards. I'm going to pull this out of the way for a sec. So there's a reminder from Spirit. When you look into these readings, look how each row develops and the vibration that comes off them. Vertically and horizontally, there is a story to be told. I'm here to tell some of it, and some of it you will feel and intuit on your own as the cards come out. Look at that. <laughs> okay, last month, this card was the bridge card. So, that is why the guardian of the gateway, the high priestess, is here. Do you see this? A number two card, Dialogue of Battle. Here we are, thinking, going through the eclipse, coming to this new set point, male energy, okay? And a change happening. And now the augury of knowledge. A prophecy. Clearly, the eclipse, there's the all-seeing eye. 
I'm going to go and visit this site when I'm in Ireland. And uh, one of my subscribers in Ireland is um, lovingly hosting me and is really helping me um, as I prepare. So, this is about self-actualization. Again, female energy. Potent, fertile moment. With both male energy, the intention, the impulse, the strength, the impetus, and the female energy takes it up, touches the stone of wisdom that has been activated. Spirit says it's inside of you. You know, it's interesting. There's more chatter coming through. So let me finish my thought and then I'll tell you. So it is that which is in you becoming activated. And, you know, you've been going through this process for months. If you look back at the readings, it's really interesting to me. Through an initiation, all kinds of things have been happening. If you have time, treat yourself and go look at some of those readings. The Spirit's saying at least the last 90 days, the last three months, and you'll see the progression. So here you are, activated again. Having been prepared, you are in this new moment, another new set point. Having come through the portal, the new moon yesterday with a full solar eclipse affecting everyone on the planet. And in these days of the new moon, 14 days going forward, Spirit is saying, don't forget. Set your intentions. Ask for that which you desire to create here on the earth. Spirit is saying, have a little ceremony for yourself in whatever way feels good to you to bless your intentions. And have some long discussions with uh, have some long discussions with spirit. Okay, that's the human walk. That's the spiritual journey. Spirit says you're going to understand in your own set point in your own life. That's what these images are for. All right, so let's see. Look, <sighs> very deep. Remember what I was saying about you're going to stay deep? You really are. Look at that. Suspended in the universe still. You are going to feel it. I mean, th this eclipse is going to have effect, I believe, for the entire uh, next six months and beyond because of the way uh, this portal opened and the effect that it's having. Look. You're staying right there. So, you know... I understand the challenges of human life and being busy. Whenever you can, take a few minutes and allow yourself to be it and feel it. Pray, meditate, light candles, whatever you can do. You know, sometimes I do it while I'm doing the dishes. I just allow myself to just open this place, open these places. And I, I you know, what I do is I put on some music that activates my heart chakra and I just bathe in it and that's what spirit that's the message this is your spirit journey spirit wants you to continue through the month of September and know because you are a Pisces this is where you will be standing rejoice in it spirit says okay so let's see what the outcome is Perfect. Look at that. Okay. The queen of art. <coughs> Pardon me. Goodness. Look at that. Beautiful female energy. The queen of art. Look how activated she is. She sits enthroned in the triple spiral of life. That it is about change and growth and intention. And she, what, so what Spirit's saying is, it is intentional, this process that you're in, and it is intended for you specifically as a Pisces because of the nature of your energy. This change is intended for you because Spirit intends, there's a lot of words coming through about intention, and Spirit's saying, look at this, okay? <clears throat> Just these two cards.
male and female energy, there's a new foundation and there's an intention going forward that you will be able to use your energy to manifest and to sit next to the fire of life and use it to create, to burn away which is that which is not needed and to create, to bring clarity and balance and abundance. As you sit in this energy set point with an extremely high amount of knowledge about your being and about life and about our destiny and what this journey is about coming through the eclipse. So beautiful Pisces, thank you for being here. I'm going to take a quick few minutes and just pull from the bag of rooms for you. Can you please give us any other message about this unfolding, having come through the eclipse, and the things that are being given to us and asked of all the beautiful people, all the souls who are here in a Pisces energy set point through the month of September? Any other message that may help? Look at that. Okay, that's gorgeous. That's the rune of the self, actually. It's standstill. All right, I'm going to read from the book. Give me a moment to flip through the pages. This is standstill. It is about withdrawal. And you know, it's interesting. See how deep you're going? Stay deep. That's the message. Stay really deep. There's not particularly anything you need to do, but stand in your place. And just be... <laughs> Spirit says, feel yourself existing in this way. Okay? The winter of spiritual life is upon you. You may find yourself entangled in a situation to whose implications you are, in effect, blind. You may feel powerless to do anything except submit, surrender, and even sacrifice some long-cherished desire. Be patient, for this is the period of gestation that precedes a rebirth. You know, if you look at this, that's kind of what this is about. Standing at this gateway, just, you know, an augury, a prophecy about going forward, definitely a rebirth. Something new is coming. You are coming to a new set point because of the eclipse. And that's what this is talking about. Do you see how quiet this is? It's not about taking action. It's about the moment you're standing in. And, you know, this will be the outcome. But for now... That's what it means. It's about just standing still. Because the situation we've come to here on the earth, the place that we stand having come through the eclipse, it's destiny. There is nothing we can do about it, is there? In a sense. Other than be in the moment and know that the foundation is, has been built and that going forward we are going to affect change. So, yes, be patient while the retrogrades are here and things continue to shift. In this moment, positive accomplishment is unlikely. There is a freeze on useful activity. All your plans are on hold. Trying to hold on can result in shallowness of feeling, a sense of being out of touch with life. Seek to discover what it is you are holding on to that perpetuates unwanted conditions and let go. Shed, release, cleanse away the old. Doing so will bring on the thaw. It's interesting, isn't it? Usually, this room requires a sacrifice of the personal I. At such a time, you cannot hope to rely on 
help or friendly support for change. And yet, there is no reason for anxiety. Submit your will and be still. For what you are experiencing is not necessarily the result of your actions or habits, but rather arises from conditions about which you can do nothing in this moment. What has been full must be empty. What has increased must decrease. This is the way of heaven and earth. To surrender in this moment is to display courage and wisdom. And yet there is another face to stand still. Just as winter is a time for going within, drawing Isa can announce a time of restoration and renewal at the deepest level. In your solitude, exercise caution and do not stubbornly persist in attempting to work your will. Remain mindful that the seed of the new is present in the shell of the old. And you know what? That's what this line is talking about. You see? This. That's exactly what this is talking about. Stand still. That's the kind of stand still this rune is talking about in this moment, Spirit says. You are to remain mindful that the seed of the new is present in the shell of the old. The seed of unrealized potential and the seed of the good. Trust your process and watch for signs of spring. It's really interesting. I love that. <laughs> Coming to a new foundation. And you know, with this being the card over the top of the reading, it's the theme. It's the pathway. It lights up your, your journey this month. And so, uh, as Spirit's wanting me to reference back to this, you've come to a new, you have come through a rite of passage. That's what this card is actually about. And Spirit stands there as your guardian, and there's the guardian of the gateway, letting you know, building upon this foundation, coming through these moments, as you stand, Become comfortable in your new foundation. That's the message. Because there's a new dialogue starting. And you are still going to just remain deep. And, you know, don't be frightened. This says the winter of spiritual life. It just means stand still. That's what the rune is. Do you see that? Just stand still in these moments through September. And settle into this new foundation that you've developed. Love yourself, Spirit says. Feel your heart. Continue to pray and meditate in whatever way you do. Spirit says, soak in. Soak in the energy that continues to come through the portal. Because you, are, you as a Pisces are going to continue to be able to access that and the information that is flowing through to you and that is why Spirit wants you to just stand still. You've done a great job, Pisces. That's what's coming through. There you are. Okay? Spirit says move everything out of the way. See? <laughs> See that? There you are, Spirit says. It's beautiful. Just look at this. Pisces, have a wonderful month. I'm looking forward to hearing from you as always. I'm hoping to be in touch. Uh, while I'm in Ireland, we'll see. Say some little, uh, light some candles and say some little prayers or whatever you do for me. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you in October. Thanks, everyone.